a poem from my librarian, Mrs. Long. You never know what troubled little girl needs a book by Nikki Giovanni. At a time when there is not TV before 3 p.m. and on Sunday, none until five, we sat on the front porches watching the JF JFG sign go on and off, greeting the neighbors, discussing the political situation, congratulating the preacher on his sermon. There was also the radio which brought us songs from WLAC in Nashville and what we would now call easy listening or smooth jazz. But when I listened late at night with my portable that I was so proud of tucked under my pillow, I heard Nat King Cole and Matt Dennis, June Christie and Ella Fitzgerald, and sometimes Sarah Vaughan sing black coffee, which I now drink. It was just called music. There was a bookstore uptown on Gay Street, which I visited and inhaled that wonderful odor of new books. Even today, I read hardcover as a preference, paperback only as a last resort. And up the hill on Vine Street, the main black corridor, sat our Carnegie Library. Mrs. Long, always glad to see you. The stereoscope, always ready to show you far away places to dream about. Mrs. Long asking, what are you looking for today? When I wanted leaves of grass, grass or Alfred North Whitehead, she would go to the big library uptown, and I now know, hat in hand, to ask to borrow so that I might borrow. Probably they said something humiliating since Southern whites like to humiliate Southern blacks. But she nonetheless brought the books back and I held them to my chest, close to my heart, and happily skipped back to my grandmother's house where I would sit on the front porch in a gray glider and a dream of a world far away. I loved the world where I was. I was safe and warm and grandmother gave me neck kisses when I was on my way to bed. But there was a world somewhere out there and Mrs. Long opened that wardrobe, but no lions or witches scared me. I went through knowing there would be spring. <laughs>